Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we display the parameters output in the OTB analysis. So to understand this, we need to understand a concept called narrative view. This is one of the view which is provided in the OTB analysis, which is specially used for the following purposes. Displaying the prompt, nothing but the parameter. And if at all, if you want to show some dynamic content of your report output, you can also show it. Or else you can also add up an HTML content also, we can add up in this narrative view. Now let us understand the steps involved in design to this particular approach. So we know that like uh, OTP analysis supports displaying the default or selected prompt values in the output using narrative or static text where you call it as. So how do we do it? Let us see that. The first thing is you assume that you design your analysis. You click, you edit the analysis, go to the results tab, and there you have an option called add a narrative view. So in this narrative view, we have to add up the parameters and the format for that particular data, the displaying the parameters, like we have to use the rate symbol, followed by the variable name, and then followed by the display default value, if at all, if you want to show, show some default value. You can see the example here, department. It is a for, it is a prompt which you want to display, followed by a thread symbol and flower braces. In that, we are displaying, we are providing the presentation variable name and followed by all, nothing but the default value. So this is how, you know, like the narrative view works. And and this is where we was I was talking about. So once you edit the view, so here you have to provide the narrative prompts which you want to display in the output. In this example, I am displaying a supplier number and also I'm displaying the supplier name, which is the third third column in the output. So if at all, if you want to display a specific dynamic value in the output based on the position of the column also, you can display that, okay? So this is a final output you can expect like a supplier analysis narrative view. We are displaying the supplier number and followed by supplier name is the suppliers, right? So we'll just go to the instance and you can see the output once and then we'll try to design this particular sample from the scratch. So I'll just select one of the supplier, 1255. And you can observe here, the supplier number is 1255 and the supplier name is Dell Incorporation, right? So now we'll try to design a new report based on the similar logic. I'll just click on create analysis. Supplier, supplier real time. I'll save it. I'll name it as supplier analysis demo. And we'll try to display a couple of values from the supplier header, supplier profile. Supplier name, supplier number, status, supplier type, right? That's fine. Just click on save. And here, when you click on result, as of now, we know that there is no prompt we have used for this one, right? So now what we do is we would like to have a parameter, a supplier name or number, and then we want to display the selected value in the output, right? So now what we do is, so here you have an option. By default, it creates this particular view, but we need to design a new view, right? So here you can just click on this particular symbol, new view, or else you can also try this one, new view. So either way it will work. So just click on this icon and it shows other views. And here you have an option called narrative view. So just click on narrative view. And here, when you click on narrative view, we need to know which particular, for which particular parameter you want to display it, right? So first of all, we have to display or we have to consider a prompt, then you come back to narrative view. So now we have just seen how do we create a narrative view? But let us define our prompt so that we can display our particular prompt in the narrative view. So I'll just click on prompt. Now let us say supplier column prompt supplier number. On the supplier number prompt, I would like to display the 
I would like to consider the supply number as a prompt and I want to display supply number in the output, right? Parameter. So click on options and here you just click on set a presentation variable and I'll say name it as supplier NUM, supplier NUM. Yeah, so this is a presentation variable and if at all, if you want to make it as mandatory, you can do it required user input and if at all if you want to have only one particular one right you can go with the checkbox but let's as of now I'll just ignore that we'll just go with this default I'll save it now go to the results and now click on the narrative view click on edit now here in the narrative section you just mention what exactly you want to show in the output I mean to say in the the parameter section supplier number or else let us say selected supplier number at the rate followed by supplier NUM followed by all. Okay. And if at all, if you want to consider this output to be having any HTML JavaScript, you can just enable this one so that you can consider this logic. Let us say I would like to display in bold. So I'll just use this Java HTML script logic slash B. I think but the content will be displayed in the bold. And also I'll just use BR. Nothing but breaking the rule. Nothing but new line. And you can observe here the content is displayed in the bold character. Right. So now I'll just click on save. Now I'll just go back to the catalog. Let us open the report now. Supplier analysis. Test. Supplier analysis demo. Click on open. Let us see how does it work. So I'll just select one supply number one two five five. Yeah, one two five five. Click on OK. And you can observe here supply selected supply number is one two five five, but it is getting displayed in the down, right? What you can do is I'll just click on I'll go back to the analysis result, click on done. By default, it will be displayed in the down section, nothing but in the footer kind of section. What you can do is you can just drag and drop and, and you can move it to the top like this here. And now narrative section displayed in the top. Or maybe let us say this is a title, right? You want to show the title on the up. So I'll just move the title a little bit up. And for that, you want to display the parameters. Yeah, so now title is on the top. And this title also can change it. You just click on the pencil icon. Let us say I'll display this one as supplier analysis, new title. Save and done. Now we can go to the analysis, refresh. And I'll just say 1255. And now the title is shown on the top, and you can see the supply selected supply number. Let us say you want to display the fourth parameter, right? Fourth column in the output status. So, what you can do is dynamically you can display that. Let us say here you can just see supplier status. Just simple, at the rate followed by. That's it. And just click on save, go to the output and refresh. And I'll say 1255 five, or anyone 1256. And we should be able to see the supplier status. Yeah, it's not working, right? Something is wrong. Let me see the syntax. Just see the syntax once. Yeah, there is no braces. You just don't follow any braces, just a number value directly. Yeah, click on save, refresh now, one, two, five, five. Yeah, so we're able to display the, the dynamic column value or maybe the selected parameter value in the output. This is, how, this is one of the options where you can try to display the parameter value output in the OTB analysis. Thank you.